when we talk about shading to an end user, uh, it will seem uh, abstract to them at first. However, the concept is, what is the most productive lighting environment inside that space? And I think everyone will agree upon, well, I don't want glare. I don't want to be hot. I want to have a good amount of task lighting. And I need to stay awake and focused throughout the day. So any lighting designer or interior architect is really trying to preserve that little bubble of atmosphere and stretch that as long as possible throughout the day. Really slightly overcoming our circadian rhythms of what the sun is doing outside. And we're trying to make that bubble last. So the excitement about the solution is that shades and lighting can be operated by a single user interface. So for example, a DLM keypad can operate the shades and the lighting on a scene in a project. Uh, if it's a higher end project uh, or a more sophisticated space, like say a boardroom or a conference room, we can use our glass touchscreen interfaces such as Equinox 73 or 41 and uh, it's really one touching point uh, to control all the product in the space. Because what options were in the past were static shades and light switches, and none of that was autonomous. It's all about making people better in the space. So by being better, they're comfortable, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're more efficient at their job, and they're not complaining and walking around and uh, uh, taking many breaks to get out of their space because they're occupying that space for most of the day. It needs to be comfortable. So when the building takes care of itself to provide for me the most productive environment, I think that's the best way to integrate the technologies that we have, like motorized window treatment and lighting control, into any space.